okay hello friends this is yusuf here welcome to another interesting video so in this video also we are going to talk about uh, ivmi especially rbgle okay so in the recent past uh, you know some of you guys were asking uh, while coding rbgle why i am not using the fully free format right uh, still i am using fixed form for declaration and uh, other header specification so uh, just to give you a quick news uh, actually i have decided to use the fully from rpgle because uh, I, first i will tell explain the reason why i have not used till now and then i'll explain why i'm going to use it from today onwards so this also uh, popped me uh, the idea of creating a series of videos uh, to explain about uh, how to transition from fixed format to the fully free format okay so that's our objective for the future videos in this video i'm just going to quickly explain uh, you know what is fully free mar uh, fully free form rpgle and uh, what was my problem before i start using it and why i am going to use it from now on okay so now i'm going to take uh, f6 just give some name maybe a1 rpgle so i'm just creating one uh, simple program uh, like how we normally create So here you can see only the calculation specification i'm using the free format right inlr equal to star on okay so say for example i i say uh, display hello world okay so this is still uh, uh, rpg league but only partial free format because we are using only calculation specification first for uh, uh, free format suppose say for example i'm having a variable called uh, name okay is a standalone variable of type maybe 10 okay and then i want to assign some values so name is equals to yusuf okay then i want to print hello yusuf then what we will do basically the display i can say hello plus uh, trim of name so you might be familiar until this but here if you see even though we are using free format here we are using a fixed form here okay now we'll try to convert this into a fully free format okay let me save this one okay so if you compile it, it should work so call hello yusuf okay now i'm going to create a new source called a a2 rpgle okay now the the source what you are seeing in this editor this editor is called SEU editor, right? So it will start only from line uh, six. So if you press shift F7, you will see some additional content on the left side, okay? Probably you might be using this for uh, uh, doing some tagging or putting some reference on those things, okay? But the first uh, condition for a fully free form is you have to start from column one, row one, star star free, okay? So this is the first statement in your code, okay? Once you have done that, any code you write after that can be a fully free format okay including the declaration specification but now if you see as soon as i type star star free i'm getting an error it's saying that uh, form type entry for main process is not valid or out of sequence blah 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 okay this is because this editor seu editor uh, is not been updated uh, with the latest syntax of the fully free rpgle from version 6.1 okay now we are in version 7.4 so all these uh, updates and changes are uh, accounted in their editor called rdi okay so rdi is actually a editor uh, you can write you can use it like uh, you no know, other uh, programming language editors like visual studio code or you no know, notepad plus plus sublime text whatever it is and it is having a lot of functionalities we will we will see that later but anyway that is not for free so that's the reason many of you guys might not have got opportunity to work on it even i have not got an opportunity till now okay but anyway so let's go into this one okay now we have given star star free but it's showing some error let's ignore that error okay so then what i'm going to say uh, similarly display um, hello i'm trying to get a minimum working code okay star inlr equal to star on so now i say this is working code okay how to verify it i'm just going to say a uh, file Okay, it's not allowing but i'm still forcefully uh, saving that if you go in you are seeing something different because by default it will show the text from the line six right if you press shift f7 you will see the whole code okay let's try to compile this see we don't get any error while compiling if you call it 
that hello still works so the code works fine the compiler compiler knows that the code is correct but the editor is not supporting it okay this is one of the reason why i didn't use the fully free form till now but how do you fix this so for example uh, whenever you come it will keep it should not keep complaining it right so for that you can press shift f1 and come down you can make syntax checking as no so if you do that right it will not uh, anyway complain anything on it but i was using this syntax check checking uh, most of the time for the fixed form okay <laughs> that also will explain uh, why i was using it okay anyway so now let's come out of this uh, let's see uh, compared to a1 and a2 uh, let's now try to create this a1 code in a2 okay because by declaring a variable name and then uh, you know displaying a text uh, with the hello in front of it okay let me go in so okay one more thing so now whenever you come in you are seeing the text is been uh, something is hiding on the left hand side so that uh, normally what people will do right uh, they will uh, even though the code starts are free from the first column the remaining code they will start somewhere from column 6 or 7 okay so with this what will happen is uh, if you do a file if you come again at least you will start seeing the code from here okay uh, so you won't be missing any codes okay that's the idea so now let's see uh, what we want so we want to display something like this okay hello plus trim of name but we need to declare this name now okay so for that what i'm going to do uh, dcl hyphen s yes. uh, name is my variable name and which is a character of 10 okay so this is the equivalent of what we have declared okay so if you press shift f3 you can choose a1 here you can see the source uh, in parallel so here we have declared it saying that it's a declaration d for declaration and name is my variable name it's a standalone variable and it's of 10 length and a is means character so if you compare we say dcl for declaration and s means standalone variable and the name is a variable name and it's a character so is alphanumeric here it's character and the 10 is 10 okay that's the way how uh, they give the syntax for uh, fully free format so anyway we will see this more on, on our upcoming videos as of now my intention is to uh, repeat the fully say fixed format code into a free form code okay so now we declared it and then we need to assign some values basically so let's name equal to yourself and we are displaying it okay let's see if this works hopefully it should work okay hello user fine so we just got one picture of fully free format but the idea about this video is not to show only this to show more than that because of uh, the nature in fully free format we don't need to declare anything uh, like a column specification right so column level fixed form in this case if you give this yes to if you shift this yes on the right hand side it, it's a error basically right so everything is a position based now it will show that it's a error but since there is no such thing for fully free format we can write the rpg li even in ifs path okay let me go let's come out of this okay so i can even write the same code say for example what link home the us apg so i have a plain folder here it's empty folder i'm going to start writing the code here so i can use edtf to create something right so let's take first dot rpg so it will open a, a new file with the same name okay here i can say star star uh free okay and then i can start it in the same code display hello star i n l r equal to star so f2 f3 so now if you see we have the code let's see what is uh, okay good so we we have the code in ifs path now how do we compile and then run it okay that's the next question so now what we are going to do create bnd rpg okay it's a command basically you might be familiar with this command but if you take f4 okay it's asking the program i'm saying maybe uh, a a1 the same program name but in qtem but i'm not going to give the source member or source file those things but instead of that you can see we can give the steam file name here so i'm just going to say that um, home the us rpg le first dot rpg le okay and then that's it so if you compile it's working so if you go to call qtem pa1 we still get the same uh, hello here 
okay now what we have seen is we can write the rpg li even in our ifs path okay that's kind of interesting but now this opens up another possibility okay so here writing ifs is not so convenient right so it has its own limit limitation so instead of that what i'm going to do i'm going to write the same code in my visual studio code okay so visual studio code i have installed it in my uh, pc and i have also added one extension basically called if you go to ibm i rpg for ibm i okay it's by niels lisberg so this extension allows you to give some coloring okay when i say coloring you will be seeing it so uh, i'm currently in uh, empty directory called rpg le okay i'm going to create a new file second dot rpg le and as soon as i give the extension rpg le you can see the difference here so first line should be star star free okay and then dcl yes see the color changes okay uh, name of character 10 okay and name is equals to super and display so you can see this uh, kind of uh, helpful things from the editor perspective right uh, so these things we can be used used if you are going to use uh, some latest editors like uh, visual studio code or sublime text anything okay so inlr inlr equal to star so now this is actually a, a valid rpg li code which is currently sitting in my uh, uh, you know pc uh, i can use this editor to write whatever i want i can give uh, the indentation okay whatever if needed but now the next question is how do you finally compile and then run it so if it is a, suppose a rd rdi editor then uh, we can directly uh, you know compile it on the editor and see the error message and so on but since it is not only the editing or formatting i can do it here for compiling i need to push this uh, code into my ifs directory okay for that uh, as of now simply what i am doing i have my filezilla opened here so here uh, i have logged into pub 400 you can see i am in the rpg li uh, directory if i refresh now i should get the uh, what is that this program first dot rpg li let's see let me connect again yeah Okay, so it's trying to connect. You can see it's listed. If you go to um, seriously, so home devices RPG only. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe. still working anyway so what i have thought about is nothing but um, uh, i'm going to have my code from my local directory so you can see this is available i can basically transfer into the our uh, no ibm i server so once this is done so it's trying to put the directory and once it's done we can see the program already here so if the program is in your ibm i then it's the same way of doing a create bnd rpg of maybe q temp s1 f4 so you get the idea right so yeah home devices rpg le second data and it compiled and if i call q temp s1 it works okay we got super so this is pretty much the background of uh, compiling the Uh, RPG Li from IFS, and you can even move from your uh, desktop PC to IFS using some uh, no file transfer mechanisms. But what is even more interesting is if we involve GitHub into this concept. Okay, so if you are heard about this GitHub, uh, basically it's a online platform for collaborative work. Okay, so you can have a single code repository, and uh, it will maintain its own versions. You can basically uh, push your codes, and then other developer can pull the code and so on. So probably I will make a different video, a separate video about uh, what is Git and GitHub and uh, its usefulness. but as of now i'm going to show you a quick demo i hope i will have some time okay so say for example i am in this folder okay so i am in pc desktop rpg le i am op i'm running a command prompt here 
okay so i already have git install so i'm going to say uh, git init it will uh, initialize a git repository then i will be going to my github and i will try to create a new repository plus new repository so here i say rp testing rpg le okay and then i'll just say create repository so once the repository is created okay now i need to uh, link this repository with my uh, this folder okay so for that the steps already is given here so we have done already the git init and uh, we'll come to this later and we just need to add this one command let me copy this and add it here okay so we can verify it using git remote hyphen v it will show you uh, this directory is connected to which git repository in the github okay now what we need to do like uh, git status it will just show you what you have currently we are not tracking this file so we need to add it git add dot then git commit hyphen m uh, initial commit okay then we have to say git push hyphen u it's already there here okay git push hyphen u origin master so it will take it will take some time but what it will do is it will link your uh, local folder with the git remote rec repository okay now you can see it's trying to push the code once it is pushed right so if you just refresh your repository you will immediately see the files have been pushed now this repository and your folder are in sync okay now uh, if say for example the other developer wants to uh, do some changes okay maybe it's he is having its uh, his own uh, pc right so i'm just going to uh, mimic that one so basically what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new folder uh, rpg le2 say for example and uh, let me open this okay so i'm going to open a command prompt here assume this particular folder is in different pc okay so what we can do simply like git clone and uh, if you come to the repository there will be a path to clone it so if you try that now it will create this repository into that folder okay now if you see it's completed if you go to dir you can see now testing rpg le which is the repository name is available if you go to cd uh, testing rpg le if you see inside the code is already there so you can also see it here can see the program is already there okay okay now you can see okay this is good uh, in case of uh, collaboration but uh, how do we use this with respect to ibmi okay now that comes the beauty so call q p2 term okay so git hyphen hyphen version so we can also install git in our ibmi which means now we can think about the possibilities right uh, what about the code we no need to sync it up or create in the source members we can create in the ifs directory and we can have our private git repository and uh, we can make sure that we are pushing it uh, to that central repository and uh, basically we can use rpgle also as like other programming languages and uh, for the collaboration and everything okay so but unfortunately i cannot show the git demo uh, in this video because uh, currently the pub 400 having some certificate issues so i'm not able to do a clone okay but if you are having uh, in general it is possible that's the thing which i want to convey right yeah so these are the things which i want to cover in this video so we just learned uh, the usefulness of the fully free work pgle uh, which using which we can do uh, ifs file compilation just because uh, it can compile from ifs now we can also write our source code in your uh, favorite editor and then you can push into the ifs and then you can compile and then so on so with this being uh, set uh, we're gonna see the next couple of videos about uh, the transition from the fixed format to the fully free format so that's my objective I hope this helps and you got some uh, interesting uh, ideas. So yeah, so that's it I want to convey in this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.